I wasn't really planning on this. Leave my last video on the Galaxy Note 8. So this is right across the street. I just pulled in. I went. I was actually at Costco, and I pulled in today, and I wanted to show you how. So it's funny. The owner of the farm, she kind of knows what I do now, but she doesn't understand or care about that stuff. You know, she's all into the horses, and she's like, "I think your Bigfoots are across the street." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" I mean, I've been seeing this spot. She's like, "Cause the hole across the street has changed since you got here," and I was like, "Really?" I knew kind of, but now it's really changing. I'm on ice. I'm just being careful. Hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, I'm working on a few things here. I just have to accept that, you know, it's not going to be as frequent in the winter times. So look, so, so it's amazing. They did this whole thing. See the, see the, um, I don't know what, I don't even know what to call that. Like a, it's like a pair. I was going to say parallel, but, um, that that's all got there. All this stuff in front, you see the blinds in front. Keep in mind, this is all by the rock stacking. It's by the, uh, Oh, son of a gun. That's right. <laughs> I just went right through. Luckily, uh, I have boots on, but they're not tied. And it didn't go above my boot, so. Look at this. Yes, I'm not, I swear, I'm not messing around. I've been waiting to do this video, because every single day I look over here, there's more. Everything's got the triples. Look, every single thing has like a trident. Is this that exciting? For most people, no. But for some of the people that follow me, it is. Because it shows you, yes, they follow you. Um, you know, they came out here. They were already in this area down here. And then once I started filming them and all their structures and those teepees and all that stuff, then they, they came right across the street from where I am. And it's crazy. You know, and it's an amazing thing, you guys. They can be here. I've realized this. It, was, it took me a long time. They can be completely present and yet make no footprints at all. I feel like the footprints I get sometimes were given to me. Other times, no. You see that? Look at this, everything's a fork, see? That's how you know, trust me on this one. Look, look at this. See those two right there? How'd they go up like that? This is all Sasquatch or whatever. This is the forest people. You guys got to see this timestamps that we got when I found the cave, the little person in the cave, and then beyond. Well, beyond has all kinds of of uh, timestamps, really good ones from Cassandra. I mean, I don't think I've really posted them yet, but I mean, it's it's really good, and they're right there. It's crazy. So look at this. Something a little coming through here. Uh oh. Please don't, please no, please no. I'm walking over a river. And so everything's starting to change now. If you walk in here, you'll see there's like spots, especially if you go to the river. Look at this. <laughs> She's like, your Bigfoots are here. It's so funny. Yeah, they can be around and not make prints. I don't want to make this any more complicated, but I know for sure now. Like I've had experiences recently where <laughs> they're right there. Not, not to mention just my own personal, but the pictures that are, we're getting. It's just an amazing thing. I'm trying to figure out how they can be present and really not make too much activity. At least some of them. You guys, this is amazing. How this all happened. You know how you know it's them? Because they do the same thing in the middle of Bigfoot worlds. This giant tree went that way. This giant tree went that way. And inside, there's all kinds of places underneath to hide and just to be. Um, I'm, I'm, don't, th I'm not thinking there'd be timestamps in here, but, and I am with a cell phone, but, couldn't hurt to take a quick look. That's all. I just wanted to show you really quickly. Just walking through here. Most likely a coyote. That's the only thing I can think of. We have coyotes everywhere around here. He's walking all through here. Shapeshifters. I'm kidding. People are like, Mark, what did some guy say in that video? The same video I was just talking about. See, look here, look. See here, this is old, but you can tell. It's, it's all been manipulated early. You see that? Believe it or not, that's them. This is a spot they've been in for a long, long time. I love this land because it's, uh, I found out it's state owned. So it's just like mine. Like I could just use it <laughs> whenever I want. I just walk across the street. There's a nice bend right there too. 
you know, just, just the ultimate confirmation when you have a nice bend, a double nice bend. They're right in here. Now, how much in the snow? That's one of the things I really want to know for myself. I just need to know what their deal is. When are they here? Are, are they just sitting up in the trees? Do they hover over all of the snow? I mean, it just seems a little bit ridiculous. So I, I really want to know. That's what kind of ails me. Is like, I want to know how they do this and, and why. And, you know, why is it so interesting to set up here after I've been filming them? Bizarre. I mean, it's, you guys, the stuff in there, it's crazy. I'm not really showing you because I want to end this video. That I don't think I'll put on YouTube. We'll see. I might just put it on my Colorado Bigfoot. In there, it never ends. I mean, all the, look at that big tree that comes out. You see it right there? It's got snow all over it. And it's coming down out into this. And everything meets in here. And there's a river right in here. And it's not wind, you guys. It's all their stuff. It's all, you have to look closely. You know, everything has the fork or it's a trident. Everything around it is weird. Look, you see how it's all weird? It's not normal. You see that thing? It's this. I see it all the time. It's, uh, excuse my finger. I got stuff on my finger because it was, uh, I was actually eating chicken. Like with my hand. You guys, it's so good. The roasted chair, the roasted, what do they call them? Roasted tier, roasted tier chickens. At Costco's. Are five bucks. And they're so good. I was so hungry on the way home. I'm not going to lie. I literally had it on my, like my center console. I just like took one of them and put it and just, just grabbed the side of the chicken with my fingers. <laughs> it, took, it took a huge bite. And that's why it's still like on my fingers a little bit right there. Sorry. So really cool. You guys are right across the street. Now, is it permanent? I don't think so. I think they just come over here. I, I don't know what it is. This tree has always been interesting to me. And this 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 barn has an attic. And I just want to stick my pole up there one day with the with my camera that has a light on it. And see what's up there. I think I'm gonna I'm trying to I wanna do some I wanna do a video today so bad. But I'm trying to think about I'm thinking about going way back over those mountains in the snow. It's not too bad, it's kinda of like this. So it's you know, just to get an idea. Um if it's a fail with like visible uh, Bigfoot activity on the phone. I mean, on the camera. I will. Uh, I'm gonna turn it into a bobcat thing. I'm sorry, a mountain lion thing. Cause I wanna. I found a spot way out there, up and over those mountains that has just an extreme amount of of uh, mountain lion prints. There's just going everywhere, and I would not mind tracking one up to near their den i just want to i love mountain lions i've said this before and i just want to get us some close-ups you know and, and film a mountain lion some mountain lion activity in the in the snow would be really cool birds coming in no freaking way magpies they're the ones that do it here at the farm where is he he's up there he's right there I got a relationship with one of these guys. It might just be him. Um, I've been feeding them. The magpies are a little bit more, they're very crow-like, they're crow family, I think. Um, like crow raven family, but they're a little bit more jumpy. I'm having, I really am trying to develop a relationship with one of them back in the, by, the, by the barn there. And uh, you know, I feed him bread and stuff and he loves me, but I can't touch him yet or anything. I just want to be able to hold him. All right, that was all. See the horsies? I hope everyone's good. And um, like I said, I'm, hopefully I'm working on some stuff here soon and getting a video done. Um, going to meet up with Dave Thundercloud in Maryland um, in December, which I'm looking very forward to. Let's pray there's no snow there. And I'm thinking about going to Texas in January, and I'm also thinking about possibly getting to Arizona before Christmas somehow. I want to go to the mountains in Arizona. And any ideas you guys have, 